Good morning, folks. It is now daytime without daylight. So is it really daytime? Do 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 do. Um, sometimes I wish Jay would be more serious in what he talks about, folks. I'm probably the most serious thing you've ever run into, but I can't stay like that. Otherwise, I go insane. Um, if you could see everything that I see then have to deal with the stuff I deal with, you go nuts. Um, it's wonderful to see all this stuff. And I've got what people call the Kashuk Records. Folks, it's just information that's floating in the in the field, the outer part of the ore of whatever is, you know, father source energy at the time or whatever. It's part of what the, the focal point of Barrow, what's floating outside. It's like it's part of an ore. Um... Sometimes I, I hear about people reading the Akashic Records. Well, they're not. They're talking spirit guides, you know. Sometimes the information can come through the spirit guide from the Akashic Records because it's my outer aura. I can feel it. Um, the Akashic Records is not a temple um, with all these wonderful scrolls in it, like Sylvie Brown used to talk about, because there's no physical mass over there. It's energy. But you, as energy, you flow into the energy and you feel it. But to think of it in a way that's more plausible, more digestible for the human mind, we think about a building with books and scrolls and stuff in it, because as we relate to the physical world, that's what it's like. But the truth? No, the truth is not like that. Uh, what it actually is is energy other than some heavy particulate matter little pieces floating around um, the second uh, um, uh, my head's going through a lot right now sorry um, the second dimension is full of uh, uh, is, is full of it's just inf it's energy that contains information um, there's a corruption in the second stage of evolution of the souls. Okay. Um, um, all right, sorry. Um, that's serious. Uh, wow. Um, sorry folks, I'm not big on turning the camera on and off all the time. Um, <sighs> Cancerous corruption, second stage of evolution of the souls. Um, okay, sorry about that. Um, I, I doubt I'll forget that, but I'm not taking a chance on it. I forget so much. Anyway, um, so the Akashic Records, it's, um, it's, on, it's on the other side. It's in the second dimension. And then uh, everybody, uh, the spirit guides that you have, they're in the second dimension, but yet, you know, they're here with you too. They're kind of, it, it, it's like they're floating in and out of the... Um, uh, the barrier between the second and third dimension. Um, it's not like they are, but it's it's a there's. I don't know what you want to call it. They they you can move through dimension easily, but when you when you want to be a spirit guide, uh, you need to usually be pretty strong to do this properly. Okay. So anyway, because when if you if you're really strong, you can stay in between otherwise you got to um, stay as energy you come to this side and then you go through the barrier to come back and forth <clears throat> um, so anyway it's information um, right now the Akashic Records is uh, um, it's changing so much because everything changes it's changing so much right now um, Looking into the future in the Kashuk records, what do they call the Kashuk records? It's the outer ore of uh, um, the the male part of uh, source spirit. What what they call father on the other side, 
um, it's so unstable that there's nothing, the future's just really screwed up over, over there. Um, uh, you can get information from the Akashic Records about things that have happened, but if you learn how to open up and relax, you can go there yourself. It's a shortcut to ask something. Okay, give me this. Tell me this. Tell, tell me this. Tell me that. What, what did I wear Tuesday of uh, 1992? Uh, on uh, February, whatever, in February. First, first Tuesday in February. Uh, um, folks, I'm sorry. That, that kind of information is pretty much senseless. Um, why not work on opening up, becoming yourself, and then understanding what's going on around you, who you really are, and then start getting the stuff for yourself? Uh, as I say that, a lot of uh, uh, quote-unquote psychics or readers, um, I call everyone metaphysical practitioners because you're practicing your metaphysical abilities. You're a practitioner of metaphysical abilities, um, which is part of who you are. Um, but anyway, um, the timestamp. I've got 617 right now. Seven is spiritual knowledge. One is uh, the self, and six is intuition. No, <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? It's spiritual knowledge, which is the important stuff, which is floating around in the uh, outer aura of uh, in the field. In the field, that's the way to put it. In the field, outer aura is correct, but it is the field. Um, spiritual knowledge is in the field that you can't access. Um, one is of the self, and then. Um, Six is intuition, which is uh, kind of like a summary of all your metaphysical abilities. Um, that's what uh, what they call the Akashic Records is. Um, but see, as you relax and flow into yourself and open up, and that's it's hard to do, but folks, once you do it, it's constant. I can't, I know I'm different, but I can't anymore not be there than be here or whatever, vice versa or whatever. Um, I'm all over the place. I can't help it. Um, but as I was waking up uh, and becoming aware, more aware of things, uh, it was just the neatest thing. Heck, I used to be able to actually project. That was fun. Taking off the fly somewhere. You can go all the way across the universe and back in most cases. Well, it, it, you can at least go across the universe, the whole universe, in seconds. Okay? So... And I don't mean many. Okay, worst case scenario under 10. Let's see, light speed do that. I'm not talking about the nearest galaxy. I'm talking about across this known universe. And then there's others out there. There's over a thousand other new universes. So the Akashic Records... Um, Folks, it's a, it's 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 part of the, it's it's information that's within the field. Okay. Um, a lot of times when we're given a message, like you see a temple and everything, it's not actually a temple floating around the sky. Okay, that's it. It's a uh, image that's given your brain so that you can understand uh, the basic process of what's going on over there. It's like some people. Uh, when you go to see something, your physical mind has to understand it. I can go look at something. Paul can go look at something. Usually we see exactly the same thing, but sometimes it's a little different. It all depends on the imagery that we've um, uh, collected through our lives, which is the best way to understand the uh, the message, the information, what we're seeing. You know, we get, uh, Paul and I get, we talk with everything over there, but we see things ourselves too. And it's not just me and Paul, okay, there's others. Um, I'm just saying. So, y'all have been around a long time. Y'all are really strong. You need to know who you are. You need to understand a little more about what you can do. Okay? Um, so, as far as Akashic, Akashic Records, maybe be a, hey, Hurt, good boy, honey. Um, maybe it, it would be, well, let's just say it's more accurate. Uh, and in the long run, it might be more fulfilling for you to understand and see it as what it actually is. 
It's the field. It's information within the field. Okay? But as you calm down and relax and fl learn to, to flow inside yourself and talk to these spirit guides, good man, Herky, good man, um, you just go there yourself. And that's, that's a lot more fun. Don't stop going to your, you know, metaphysical practitioners. And metaphysical practitioners, you're not going out of business, okay? You're not. You know how many people are awake? It, it's less, there's two, two something, a little over 2% of the population on this planet is awake. It's a lot more in other planets, most other planets. And that's this next conversation I gotta go talk about our family from other planets, blue avians and all. Okay, folks. Look, love you. Um, I just want you to be you, man. That's all. There's no religion. There's no great philosophy. It's just what it is. Okay? Um, it's like walking out onto a... Uh, um, onto a... Uh, Walking out onto a field and talking about all the people there, having picnics and animals running around. That's what it's like going to the other side. You see things through image. It's just trying to understand it. Um, I wish I could uh, do some classes on this. Um, I'm just... Everything is so uncertain on the other side, and I'm so anxious to get out of here. Um, and it's, it's crazy. I'm doing everything I can. Um, I want y'all to wake up, all of you. I want everyone who wants to, to wake up, okay? And it, it, it is happening. Y'all are changing. Uh, the consults that I do, uh, those are hard, okay? That's strong awakening. You will start becoming more and more awake, period. As long as you have the desire and you actually take the time to relax and then extend yourself out with your energy out, you're going to find out that all of a sudden you're kicking out a thousand of whatever, 50 million amps instead of 50,000, okay? Uh, or watts, whatever, you know. I used to work with that. Anyway, um, you can understand your power has increased over 10%, um, uh, 10 times 100, uh, 1,000 percent, okay? Okay. Um, all right, folks, anyway, love you. Um, the Akashic Records is really the field. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's information that floats through the field. It's a proper way to say that. And uh, it's all out there. Um, the spirit guides usually help you with that, but you know, you can get some of that yourself. The thing is, why not go see it for yourself? Because you can do that, okay? That's cool. It's one thing to read a book, but it's another thing to live what the book's talking about, you know? Love you, old man. Have a good one.